All right, so in this video, we're looking at hip flexion. It's stuff that you've already seen before, but we're just going to try to make it a little bit more reliable. So your measurement using the bubble inclinometer, you're still going to go through and zero it out on a flat surface, preferably the table. Uh, and then you're just going to come on to the patient. From there, you're going to help that patient flex their leg up. Go ahead and bend your knee. And you'll just follow that just like you normally would do. Now the problem is, is that the hip is not a straight line joint. Because it's not a straight line joint, there is going to be some cheating that the body will try to do based off of the arthrokinematics. So we're going to go ahead and look at what the body does um, now. So if you want to swing over here, slide just a little bit towards me. So how do I take that inclinometer and put it here and bring her leg up into a flex position? Natural tendency is for this to get to a certain point and then roll out. As it rolls into that abducted position, I start to lose my reliability for this measure because I don't know how to measure both hip flexion and abduction at the same time. So you really need to make sure that you only go up to the point where you just start to feel that leg want to swing out into abduction. The other thing to keep in mind is uh, another cheat will be a little bit of external rotation. So the leg as it comes up will want to start to do this to gain some more motion and still maintain that straight line into flexion. So if you just cup around the um, lower leg just a little bit, that'll help you watch out for that external rotation and block for that external rotation to occur. I still have my bubble inclinometer here and I can look at the measurement from there. 